Today, I am going to tell you about how to make a green smoothie. Making a daily green smoothie is a 10 minute habit that can have profound health benefits. Green smoothies are simply blended mixtures of whole foods that include greens like spinach and kale, or other nutrient-dense veggies, and they may or may not contain other ingredients like fruits or nuts that are blended in. Don't let the name mislead you though, green smoothies don't necessarily come out looking green. Here is one way to prepare a green smoothie. Here are some of the ingredients you may use. 1 cup of dark leafy greens, such as kale, spinach, romaine, swiss chard, and dandelion. This is the nutritional base of the smoothie. 1 cup of liquid. If you don't add a liquid, your smoothie will be much too thick. You can use something as simple as a cup of water, however, you can also use almond milk or soy milk, as well as coconut milk or water. You can even use regular milk or coffee. 1 to 1 and a half cups of fruit. Fruits give the smoothie flavor and sweetness, and they also add additional nutrients. You can use any combination of fruit you want, including bananas, strawberries, blueberries, mangoes, oranges, apples, pineapples, and even avocados. Next, have 1 to 2 tablespoons of a powerhouse topping. Powerhouse toppings can include nut butters, ground flax seeds, oatmeal, or more. You can also add powerhouse toppings for other nutrients and protein. For instance, you can use chai seeds, almond butter, hemp seeds, or acai powder. Add a dash of cinnamon or cocoa powder for flavor. Finally, add sweetener for added taste. Some sweeteners include honey or alternative sweeteners such as sugar. You can really use any sweetener you want if you prefer your smoothie to be a little sweeter. Now that we have the ingredients out of the way, let's start with step one. Step one is to put the liquid in a blender. The liquid goes in first so that everything else has something to blend in. Next up, put chopped up greens and fruit into the blender. The greens should go on top of the fruit as it will keep it from bogging down the blender. Now, pulse the mixture at first. Pulsing the mixture helps get it going. This can help up any fruit chunks so that it won't get bogged down. After you've pulsed it several times, you can move on to blending it. Blend the mixture. Start on low at first, like pulsing first. A low speed helps mix the ingredients together without getting them stuck to the sides. Once you've blended on low for about half a minute, you can move on to blending on high. Keep blending until everything is smooth. Next up, add in any frozen fruit or ice. Finally, adjust as needed. Your smoothie may come out too thick or too thin, so adjust it. If you find it's not pourable, add in more liquid. You can make it thicker with more frozen fruit or even greens. Blend again until you've got the right texture. And there you have it. You should now have a nice, healthy, green smoothie for you to enjoy. If you like the tips provided in this video, subscribe to the channel. While you're at it, like, share, and comment on this video. Thanks! Until next time, see you later!